Common fractions multiplication. Question 1. A half of 2 is 1 because 2 divided by 2 is 1. A half of 4 is 2 because 4 divided by 2 is 2. Let's look at B together. A third of 3 is 1 because 3 divided by 3 is 1. A third of 6 is 2 because 6 divided by 3 is 2. Lastly, a third of 9 is 3 because 9 divided by 3 is 3. Press pause to complete question 1 by yourself. Question 2. One third of 12 is 4. Therefore, two thirds of 12 is 8. 12 divided by 3 is 4. And 2 times 4 is 8. Press pause to complete question 2 by yourself. Question 3. A half times 2 means exactly the same as a half of 2, which we know is 1. A half times 4 is the same as a half of 4, which is 2. And a half times 6 is 3. Let's look at B together. A third times 3 is the same as a third of 3, which is 1. A third times 6 is 2. And a third times 9 is 3. Press pause to complete question 3 by yourself. Question 4. A third times 12 is 4. Therefore, 2 thirds times 12 is 8. 12 divided into 3 equal parts is 4. And 2 times 4 is 8. Let's do E together. A seventh times 14 is 2 because 14 divided by 7 is 2. 3 sevenths times 14, 14 divided by 7 is 2, and 3 times 2 is 6. Lastly, 14 divided by 7 is 2, and 5 times 2 is 10. Press pause to complete question 4 by yourself. When you are done, use the memo to mark all your answers on this page. Worksheet 2. A half times a half is a quarter because 2 times 2 is 4 and 1 times 1 is 1. A half times a third is a sixth because 2 times 3 is 6 and 1 times 1 is 1. For this question, a half times a quarter is going to be 1 eighth. Let's do B together. A third times a third is going to be one ninth. And lastly, a third times a quarter is going to be one twelfth. Press pause to complete question one by yourself. Question two. A half of a half is a quarter because a half times a half is one over four. A half of a third now let's think, a half times a third is one sixth, therefore a half of a third is a sixth. Let's look at B together, a third of a half is the same as a third times a half, which is one sixth. Therefore a third of a third is the same as a third times a third, which is one ninth. Lastly, question C, a quarter of a half is the same as a quarter times a half, which is one eighth. Press pause to complete question two by yourself. Question three, a half times a fifth is a tenth. Now a half times two fifths when we multiply fractions, we always first simplify in our question. So we divide any top and any bottom by the same number. 2 divided by 2 is 1, 
and 2 divided by 2 is 1. And then we multiply out and we get 1 fifth. Let's do this question together. We can simplify our 2's. Divide by 2, divide by 2. Then we multiply out to get 1 seventh. Lastly, let's look at E together. We simplify by dividing top and bottom by 5 and we get a final answer of a seventh. For this question, again, we can divide top and bottom by 5, 1 and 1, and we multiply out to get 1 ninth. Press pause to complete all of question 3 by yourself. Question 4. For this sum, we simplify our 3 and our 3, divide by 3, divide by 3, then we multiply out to get 2 fifths. Let's do this one together. We're going to simplify by dividing our 5's, dividing by 5, dividing by 5, then we multiply out to get 4 ninths. Press pause to complete question 4 by yourself. When you are done, use the memo to mark all your answers on this page. Worksheet 3. For this sum, we have a quarter times 2 fifths. We can simplify 2 and 4 by dividing, by dividing both of them by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 4 divided by 2 is 2. Then we multiply out to get 1 tenth. Let's do B together. We can simplify our 2 and our 6. We, divide, we can divide them both by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 6 divided by 2 is 3. Then we multiply out to get 1 fifteenth. Press pause to complete question A and B by yourself. Question C. We can simplify our 2 and our 10. We divide both by 2, so we are left with 1, and 10 divided by 2 is 5. Then we multiply out to get our final answer. Let's do D together. In this question, we can simplify the 3 and the 12. We can divide both by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Then we multiply out and we get 11 over 20. Press pause to complete question C and D by yourself. Question 2. In this sum, we simplify the 4 and the 2. We divide them both by 2 and we are left with 2 at the top and 1 at the bottom. We multiply out to get 2 fifths. Press pause to complete question A and B by yourself. Question C. In this example, we have simplified the 4 and the 8. We divide both by 4, so we get 1, and then 8 divided by 4 is 2. Multiply out to get the final answer. Press pause to complete question C and D by yourself. Question 3. In this sum, we have simplified our 4 and our 6. We can divide both by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. And 6 divided by 2 is 3. We multiply out to get 2 fifteenths. Let's do B together. We can simplify the 6 and the 15. We can divide both by 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. And 5 to 15 divided by 3 is 5. Then we multiply out and we get 2 out of 35. Press pause to complete question A and B by yourself. Question C. In this example, I've simplified the 9 and the 6 by dividing both by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3, and 6 divided by 3 is 2. And you multiply out to get the final answer. Let's do D together. We can simplify the 12 and the 8 by dividing both by 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3, and 8 divided by 4 is 2. Then you multiply out to get 9 out of 26. Press pause to complete question C and D by yourself. Question 4. In this sum, we have simplified the 9 and the 3, 
by dividing both by 3. Then we multiply out to get 6 fifths, which is an improper fraction, which we write as 1 and 1 fifth as a mixed number. Let's do B together. We can simplify the 15 and the 6 by dividing both by 3, so we're left with 5 and 2. We multiply out to get 25 over 14, which is, a, which is an improper fraction. 14 fits into 25 once, remainder 11 fourteenths. Press pause to complete question 4 by yourself. When you are done, use the memo to mark all your answers on this page. Worksheet 4. In this question, we have simplified our 3s by dividing both by 3, so we are left with 1 and 1. Then we can simplify the 2 and the 4 by dividing both by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, 4 divided by 2 is 2. Then we multiply out, 1 times 1 is 1, and 1 times 2 is 2. Let's do this question together. We can simplify our 7s. We divide both by 7. Then 10 and 5. We can divide both by 5. We get 1. And 10 divided by 5 is 2. We multiply out to get 1 half. Press pause to complete A and B by yourself. Question C. We simplify by dividing by 5 and 5. Then for our 6 and our 3, we divide by 3 to get 2, divide by 3 and we get 1. We multiply out and we get 2 over 1, which is equal to 2 wholes. Press pause to complete question C and D by yourself. Question 2. We have simplified our 3s to get 1 and 1. Then with 2 and 4, we divide by 2 to get 1 and 2 and we multiply out to get a half. Let's look at this question together. We divide by 3 to get 1 and 1. Then for our 2 and our 8, we can divide by 2 to get 1 and 4. And our final answer is a quarter. Lastly, let's do this sum together. We can divide by 9 and 9. Then our 4 and 20 our highest common factor is 4, so we can divide both by 4. So we get 1, and 20 divided by 4 is 5, and our final answer is 1 fifth. Press pause to complete questions A, B, and C by yourself. Question D. We've divided by 3 and 3. Then we divide the 4 and the 2 by 2 to get 2 and 1. We multiply out to get 2 over 1, which is 2 wholes. Press pause to complete question D by yourself. Question 3. In this sum, we've divided 8 and 4. Divide them both by 4, so we are left with 2 and 1. Then we can simplify 3 and 15. We divide both by 3, so we get 1 and 5. We multiply out to get 2 fifths. Let's do B together. We can simplify there. Divide both by 7 to get 1 and 3. Then we can simplify that top and bottom. Divide both by 3 to get 1 and 4. We multiply out to get 3 over 4. Press pause to complete question A, B and C by yourself. Question D. We've simplified our 15 and our 5, dividing by 5, so we get 1 and 3. We've simplified our 8 and our 16 by dividing by 8, so we get 1 and 2. We multiply out to get 3 over 2, which as a mixed number is 1 and a half. Press pause to complete question D by yourself. When you are done, use the memo to mark all your answers on this page. Worksheet 5. Study. 2 wholes is equal to 2 over 1, and 15 wholes is equal to 15 over 1. Press pause to complete question 2 by yourself. Question 3. A quarter times 12 is the same as a quarter times 12 over 1. Then we simplify our 12 and our 4. 
we multiply out and get 3 over 1, or 3 wholes. Let's look at B together. A 7 times 14, we can put the 14 over 1. Then we simplify in our question, we divide by 7, 1 and 2. We multiply out to get 2 over 1, or simply 2 wholes. Use this method to complete question 3 by yourself. Question 4. We can leave answers as improper fractions where necessary. For our first question, we have 2 times 2 over 3. So we write it over 1. We can't simplify anywhere, so we multiply out. For this sum, we have 5 wholes, so we can write it over 1 to make it easier. We can't simplify any top or bottom, so we multiply out to get 10 over 3. Press pause to complete question A and B by yourself. Question C, we have 3 times 3 quarters. We can put 3 over 1. We can't simplify anyway, so we multiply out. Let's do this sum together. 2 over 1. We can't simplify anyway, so we multiply out to get 6 over 5. Press pause to complete question C and D by yourself. Question 5. We have 3 fifths times 5, which we put over 1. We simplify our 5s and multiply out to get 3. Let's do B together. We can write our 7 over 1. Then we simplify our 7s. And we multiply out to get 4 wholes. Press pause to complete question A and B by yourself. Question C. We put 10 over 1. Then we simplify our 10 and our 5 by dividing by 5. And we multiply out. 3 times 2 is 6 over 1, which is 6. Let's do this one together. We can put 25 over 1. Then we simplify. Divide by 5, divide by 5. And we multiply to get 20 over 1, or 20. Press pause to complete question C and D by yourself. When you are done, use the memo to mark your answers. Worksheet 6. Multiplication involving mixed numbers. First, rewrite each mixed number as an improper fraction. So for this sum, we rewrite our mixed number as 3 over 2, times by a third, then we simplify our 3s and multiply out to get a half. Press pause to complete question A. Question B. We rewrite 1 and a half as 3 over 2 times 1 sixth. Then we simplify in our question. We divide by 3, divide by 3, and we multiply out to get a quarter. Press pause to complete question B. For C, we have 7 ninths times by, we rewrite our mixed number as an improper fraction. Then we first simplify in our question by dividing top and bottom by 3, so we're left with 1 and 3. Then we multiply out to get 7 sixths, which is 1 and 1 sixth, sixth as a mixed number. Press pause to complete question C. Question 2. Again, remember to always first rewrite each mixed number as an improper fraction. For A, we rewrite 1 and 1 third as 4 thirds. Then we times by 3 quarters. We divide top and bottom by 4, divide top and bottom by 3, which equals 1 whole. Press pause to complete question A. Question B, we rewrite 1 and 1 third as 4 thirds. Then we simplify our threes. Then we divide four and eight both by four to get one and two. We multiply out to get a half. Press pause to complete question B. Question C. We first rewrite one and three quarters as seven quarters. Then we simplify our seven and our 14, dividing by seven. We simplify our two and our four by dividing by two. And we multiply out to get a quarter. Press pause to complete question C. Question 3. We have two mixed numbers, so we first rewrite both as improper fractions. We simplify in our question, 
to get 2 over 1 or 2 wholes. Press pause to complete question A. Question B. Again, we rewrite both mixed numbers as improper fractions. We simplify our 3 and our 6. Then we multiply out to get 11 over 4, which is 2 and 3 quarters as a mixed number. Press pause to complete question B. Question C. Again, we rewrite both mixed numbers as improper fractions. We simplify our 3 and our 9 by dividing by 3. We simplify our 10 and our 2 by dividing by 2. We multiply out to get an improper fraction, which is 1 and 2 thirds as a final answer. Press pause to complete question C. Question 4. Use what you have learned to answer this question by yourself. When you are done, use the memo to mark all your answers on this page. Worksheet 7. Question 1. Press pause to complete by yourself. Question 2. 1 and a quarter, we rewrite as 5 quarters. 12, we put over 1. Then we simplify in our question. We multiply out to get 15. Let's do B together. 1 and 1 7 we rewrite as 8 7 times by 14 over 1. Then we simplify in our question, we divide by 7, divide by 7, and we multiply out to get 16 over 1, or just 16. Press pause to complete question 2 by yourself. Question 3. Leave answers as mixed numbers when necessary. Question A. We put 6 over 1. We rewrite our mixed number as an improper fraction. Then we simplify in our question, divide top and bottom by 3, and we multiply out to get 10 holes. Press pause to complete question A by yourself. Question B, we, put, we rewrite 2 as 2 over 1. 1 and 1 quarters, 5 quarters. We simplify in our question to get 5 over 2 which is two and a half as a mixed number. Press pause to complete question B. Question C. We rewrite five as five over one, one and two thirds as a improper fraction. We can't simplify in our question, so we multiply out, and we get a final answer as seven and two thirds as a mixed number. Press pause to complete question C and D by yourself. When you are done, use the memo to mark your answers. Worksheet 8. Multiplication of 3 fractions. In this sum, we simplify by dividing our 3 and our 3, and we get 1 and 1. We divide our 4 and our 4, and we get 1 and 1. Then we multiply out to get 2 fifths. Press pause to complete question A. Question B. We simplify by dividing our 3 and our 3. We divide 2 and 4 both by 2 to get 1 and 2, and we multiply out to get 1 over 14. Press pause to complete question B. Question C. We simplify by dividing our 5 and our 5. We can divide our 2 and our 4 by 2 to get 1 and 2. And lastly, we divide our 3 and our 9 by 3 to get 1 and 3. Then we multiply out to get 1 over 6. Press pause to answer question C by yourself. Question 2. In this sum, we've divided our 2 and our 4 to get 1 and 2. Then we have a 2 and a 2 which we can simplify again. We divide by 2 to get 1 and 1. We simplify our 5s by dividing by 5 and 5. Then we multiply out to get 1 over 9. Let's do this sum together. We simplify our 3s. Then we divide by 2 and we divide by 2 to get 2. We can simplify these 2s by dividing by 2. We get 1 and 1. And we multiply out by and get 1 over 7. Press pause to complete question A by yourself. Question B. We divide our 5s and our 5s. Then our 4 and our 8, we divide by 4 to get 1 and 2. 
Then we can simplify the 2 and the 4 in red by dividing by 2. So we get 1 and 4 divided by 2 is 2. And we multiply out to get 2 over 11. Press pause to complete question B. Question C. We simplify our 6 and our 9 by dividing by 3. So we're left with 2 and 3. Then we can simplify our 3 and our 3. Now we have a 2 and a 4, which we can simplify by dividing by 2. So we get 1 and 2. And then we're left with a 2 and a 2, which we can simplify by dividing by 2. And we get 1 and 1. So we multiply out to get 1 over 7. Press pause to complete question C. Question 3. We have three fractions multiplied by one another. We first rewrite the mixed numbers as improper fractions. Then we simplify 5 and 5, 3 and 3. Our 6 and our 4 we divide both by 2 to get 3 and 2. We multiply out to get 3 halves which is 1 and a half as a mixed number. Let's complete B together. 1 and 1 third is 4 thirds times by 1 and 4 fifths, which is 9 fifths, as an in multiplied by 5 sixths. Now we can simplify our 5 and our 5. Our 4 and our 6 we can divide by 2, so we get 2 and 3. Then we can simplify our 3 and our 9, we divide by 3. Lastly, we can simplify the 3 and the 3. And we multiply out to get 2 over 1, or a final answer of 2. Press pause to complete question 3. When you are done, use the memo to mark all your answers on this page.